So apparently there's a video circulating around the internet. Basically, somebody shoplifting gets caught and says, this is San Francisco, bro. 50% of stores in downtown San Francisco have closed with many saying theft as the primary reason. Now the population of San Francisco is also going down with the amount of companies leaving. And you would think the city council will be a little bit nervous with so many stores closing. Like if 5% of stores close because of shoplifting, it's already pretty bad. But when you have 50% of store closures in downtown San Francisco, it pretty much means the city just doesn't care anymore. At that point, the city is just trying to run it to the ground and the taxes are still going to be high. And not to mention the properties in San Francisco are selling for 50, 60, and I've seen 90% off on Market Street and other neighborhoods. And San Francisco, it's just going downhill. Right, if 50% of stores close down and the city has done absolutely nothing to change things, the city is basically doomed. And people are saying that San Francisco is such a joke. This guy was gone for just 45 minutes. Literally, nothing in the car comes back. Window gets shattered in. Okay, file a police report. Uh, call the police. Uh, didn't pick up, so the dude had to call again. This is what we're seeing here. You know, not even the police is going to respond. Guys, I'm sure some of the officers, they want to do something. But you got to know that the San Francisco PD is so overworked right now. Ever since the whole defund the police situation, San Francisco barely has any funds for the police department. They're trying to do a massive recruitment situation, recruitment scheme with bonuses to get more cops in San Francisco. They did not meet their quota. Okay, Many people who want to be officers are no longer wanting to be officers in a place like San Francisco where they're basically unwelcomed. They're going elsewhere, okay? And San Francisco is so down bad, they're even thinking about getting some officers from Texas to come in because they're so short-staffed. And by the way, go try to call 911 in Oakland. Chances are you may be on hold. That is how bad it is. And the cops will probably come in like the next few hours too. This is what we're seeing here. Criminals run free. They do whatever they want. And even if they do get caught, the repercussions are extremely low. This is a shoplifter's paradise, guys. Over 200 businesses close up shop for a strike over rampant Oakland crime. These are all very extreme because we're not looking at two stores. We're not looking at 10 stores. We're looking at 200 whopping stores. Multiple blocks and blocks and blocks and whole neighborhoods of stores have closed down and protests over the rampant crime. And has the city do anything? Absolutely not. This year, a couple businesses have refused to pay taxes because Oakland refused to clean up the crime. Many businesses are wondering what in the world they're paying all these taxes for when the cities are getting worse, the cities are getting dirtier, and the crime rate is skyrocketing. Look at this, guys. In Arizona, the threshold for going from misdemeanor to felony is $50 more than California. It's a do- It's a thousand. And while Arizona has a lot of shoplifters, they do not have the organized retail theft problem and vehicle smash and grabs. Why? Because people get charged and prosecuted, okay? And basically, you got videos like these. People, cops actually do care about shoplifting. They know, you know, if shoplifting goes out of control, guess what happens? Stores close. I mean, Arizona, you don't really see 50% of store closures in their downtown or their neighborhoods. 50% is actually such a crazy number. And look at this, guys. San Francisco smoke shop targets, you know, they're kind of done. They're being targeted on a constant. Five massive break-ins. In fact, the store owner says that they have now lost insurance coverage. Insurance companies right now do not want to cover many of the San Francisco shops because they're constantly getting robbed. And if this guy wants to get a new insurance policy from a different company... It's going to be so expensive that he may consider just shutting down his store and moving elsewhere. This is what we're seeing here. Repeated break-ins on a constant basis, and it's really sad. And a lot of these business owners just want to make some money. Just want to open a business, get some cash, buy some property, and live a decent life. But they can't because they're constantly getting robbed and looted. And the thing is, with basically no prosecutions... San Francisco PD being so overstretched, guess what? Nobody's going to get arrested. While Arizona, of course, has shoplifters, 
they actually prosecute people and charge people and arrest people, which actually deters and prevents massive amounts of organized retail theft. And now San Francisco is going down in dumps. Can the city recover? We don't really know.